Tired of speaking? Maybe don't want to do your own speech? Well, there's an app for that. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can take text and convert it to speech, also known as text to speech. Now you're probably wondering why the hell is he wearing this hat? Well, in this case, what we're going to be taking a look at is how to convert text from different languages as well as English to be able to generate speech. So we'll actually be taking a look at how to convert French to French speech. Let's take a look in a little bit more detail as to what we're going to be covering. So this video is going to be a bit of a crash course on text to speech conversion. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is converting a simple variable from Python into a speech file. So we'll output it to MP3. We'll then take a look at how you can pre-process text documents. So say you've got a bunch of files that you want to convert, we'll be able to convert that to speech as well. Last but not least, we'll also take a look at how we can convert using different language models. So we'll take a look at all the different languages available and we'll specifically convert using one of those. We'll also cover all the setup that you need to go through. So in this case, we're going to be using Watson text-to-speech. So we'll cover all of that as well. Now, in terms of how we're going to be doing it, we're going to be working inside of a Jupyter notebook. So we'll capture all of our content or our corpus using Python. We'll then send that text to the Watson text-to-speech service. So that will be allow us to perform that conversion. And then from there, we'll output that as an audio file. So it'll be an MP3 file that we'll be able to convert. You can do it in a bunch of other formats, but we'll use MP3 in this case. Ready to get to it? Let's do it. So the first thing that we're going to do before we start converting our text to speech is lay out our Jupyter Notebook. So there's four key steps that we want to go through inside of our Python Jupyter Notebook. Those are installing our dependencies, setting up our speech to text service, so authenticating. Then we're going to convert a basic model, read a file from text and convert that. And we're also going to use a new language model. All right, so we've got the basic layout for our Jupyter Notebook set up. So again, as we said, we're gonna first up install our dependencies, then authenticate, convert a string, read from a file and convert that. And then last but not least, we're gonna convert with a different language model. So this allows you to convert with a Chinese language model, an Arabic language model. There's a whole heap of different language support. So let's go on ahead and first up install our dependencies. So in this case, there's one key dependency and that's IBM Watson. Now, in order to install our dependency, we're just going to use the pip install command. So that's now done. So you can see we've just used an exclamation mark and then we've typed in pip install IBM Watson. So that's our key dependency now installed. Now, the next thing that we need to do is authenticate. So because we're using the Watson text to speech service, we need to go and set up a text to speech service first. So in order to do that, all we need to do is go to cloud.ibm.com forward slash catalog. And then from there, all you need to do is hit services. So if we zoom in, so select services, scroll on down to AI slash machine learning and choose that. Then from here, you can see there's a whole bunch of different services. The one that we're looking for is text to speech. So this one down here. So if we select text to speech, so you can see from here that we've got a light plan and that's going to give us 10,000 characters of conversion per month and it'll be deleted after 30 days of inactivity. So in this case, when we're just getting started out, this is more than enough to, to go and convert our text to speech. So let's choose that light plan and hit create. So our text to speech service is now being created. You can see it's called text to speech dash WK. Now what we need from our text to speech service are our API key and our service URL. So to grab that, all we need to do is go to manage and you'll have your API key here and your URL here. So both of those details are just under the credentials box. Now what we'll do in order to store those in our Jupyter Notebook is just create two new variables. So we'll create one for our URL and one for our API key. So now let's go on ahead and copy over our URL and API key into these variables. So those are the core components that we're going to need from our speech to text service. So you can see here that we've got our URL and we've also got our API key. So those are the core things that we're going to need. Now, what we want to do is actually start authenticating. Now, in order to do that, we're going to need to import some dependencies from the IBM Watson SDK that we just installed. Once 
what we've done is we've imported two key dependencies. So we've imported the text-to-speech class. So this is going to allow us to work with our text-to-speech service. And we've also imported IAM Authenticator. So that's just going to allow us to authenticate to our text-to-speech service. Now what we want to go and do is actually go and create a new instance of the text-to-speech class and go and authenticate against it. So that's our service now set up. Now what we've done is three key things. So we've gone and imported our authenticator and passed through our API key. We've also gone and created a new instance of the text-to-speech uh, service and passed through our authenticator. And then last but not least, we've set our service URL. So that's basically where our service sits in the World Wide Web. So that's really our service done now. Now what we can actually go and do is go and convert some speech to text. So in this case, we're going to start off with a basic conversion. And what we'll do is we'll just convert hello world. Now, when we go and convert, we pass through a string or a body of text, and this is going to output a file that we'll then be able to read. So when we're going to be outputting our speech, what we'll do is we'll just output it to the folder that we've got our Jupyter Notebook in. So you can see here that this is our Jupyter Notebook, and we've also got a text file, which we'll convert in a second as well. So let's go on ahead and just convert the string hello world first to see how it works. So what we've gone and done is we've created a new speech.mp3 file. So this means that we're going to use this file object to go and write out our file. Then we've gone and used our text-to-speech service, which we created up here, and we've synthesized the words, hello world. So ideally, our speech should come out saying hello world. We've also passed through a couple of keyword parameters. So in this case, we're just saying that we want to output an mp3. And we've also chosen the voice that we want to use or the language model. So the text-to-speech service has a bunch of different language models. I've just used a US one. And in this case, it's a female US voice by the name of Allison. And then the last thing that we've done is gone and grabbed the result. Then we've gone and written out that file. So if we go and take a look inside of our folder, we should have a file called speech.mp3. And you can see that we've got a file called speech.mp3 now available. So what we can do is play that file. Hello world. And you can see that we've now gone and generated our speech. So we've gone and taken hello world and we've converted that to output hello world. What we can do is we can change this. So in this case, I might say hello YouTube and test that out. He hello YouTube. And you can see that we're now able to really, really quickly convert a text to speech. But what happens if we wanted to go and convert a text file, for example, rather than just inputting a keyword? So say we wanted to productionize this and we wanted to pick up text files and convert those in real time. Well, we can do that pretty easily. All we need to do is just read in a text file. So here I've got a bit of a speech from Winston Churchill. Now what we can do is actually go and read in this text file and convert that. So we're gonna follow a similar manner to what we just did here. The only difference is that we're first going to read up our text file. Okay, so we've now gone and read in our text file. So if we take a look, you can see that this is all the text that we had within our document. So in this case, what we did is we opened up our file and then we just read the lines from that. Now you can see that we've got a slash n, so a new line indicator on each one of these different lines. What we wanna do whenever we pass our text to the text-to-speech service is have one single block of text. So what we'll do is a little bit of pre-processing, so to convert this entire array and number of strings to one single block of text. So what we've gone and done is replace that new line indicator with a blank space. So that's just going to strip that out. And then we've gone and concatenated all of them together. So what we've done is we've used a list comprehension. So four line in text to allow us to loop through each one of those. And then ideally what we should get out is a single block of text, which you can see here. Now what we can do is follow a similar process to what we did up here. So we can just copy this block. 
Now what we're going to do is rather than having hello YouTube, all we need to do is pass through this text block here. So let's go and replace that. And we're going to call this file Churchill instead. So ideally what we should now have is another file which is just exported called churchill.mp3. Now this might take a little bit longer because again, our text is longer now, so it's going to have to convert a whole lot more. But again, it shouldn't take too long. Perfect, so that looks like it's completed. Now if we go and take a look, we indeed do have a churchill.mp3 file, so we can play that. We shall go on to the end. We shall fight in France. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall... Perfect, you get the idea. So we've gone and now read in a text file and converted that to MP3. So now the last thing that we wanna take a look at is using a different language model. So rather than just converting to English, what happens if we wanted to convert in Chinese or Dutch or Arabic or one of the other amazing languages that the entire world uses? Well, the great thing about our text-to-speech service is that it supports a number of different languages. So if we actually go to the documentation, you can actually see that there are a whole heap of different languages supported. So we've got Brazilian, got Mandarin, Dutch, a whole bunch of different others. Now, what we're going to do in this case is convert using French, because I'm a bit of a Frenchie. Now let's go and do that. So rather than the core thing that we need to do whenever we're converting in a different language is just pass through the different voice. So if we take a look at our different voices, you can see in French, we've got a few different ones there. So what we'll do is convert using this one down here. So Rene V3, and we'll just create a new variable. And then all we need to do is again, grab our text block. So I've got a lullaby that my grandma actually used to sing to me. So it's called Frère Jacques. I'm probably butchering that of Frère Jacques. So let's go and paste that in. So in this case, all we need to do is copy our conversion block, paste that in. And this time we need to replace two things. So we're just going to, because our text is contained in a variable called Frère, we're just going to grab that or Frère and replace the text here. We'll call this uh, French conversion. And the last thing that we're going to do is change our voice because that's the core thing that we need to change whenever we want to use a different language model. Because we've got our voice contained in a variable here, we can just copy that and just set this to this variable. That's now done. So if we go and take a look, we've got a French conversion block as well. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous? Dormez-vous? So and you can see we've now gone and converted. Now you can see that that's a little bit fast and that's because we don't actually have full stops here. And that's because it's going to read it so it can ideally convert our text to speech exactly as it's written. So if we actually add full stops here, you can see that we're going to get a bit more of a pause between each one of these sentences. So that's now converted. Now if we go and take a look at that. Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonnez les matines, sonnez les matines. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. Fred. So you can see there's a little bit more of a pause between each one of those sentences now. So it's replicating how we speak. That about wraps up how to convert text to speech in a nutshell. So just to recap, so what we've done is we've gone and imported our or installed our dependency. So we installed IBM Watson. We then authenticated against our service, converted a string, converted a file, and last but not least, we use a new language model. But again, keep in mind, there's a whole heap of different language models if you wanna get started. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and tick that bell so you get notified of any future videos. Let me know what text you were able to convert in the mentions below and let me know if this video helped you. Again, if you've got any questions at all, be sure to drop a mention in the comments and I'll get right back to you. Thanks again for tuning in, peace.